Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duckworks. I'm Chris and Lego just sent me this brand new Lego Disney 100 gift with purchase set, Disney 100 Years Celebration to review and showcase for all of you. This is a really charming and unique gift with purchase that essentially allows you to put your own photos in a stand for Disney, as well as even creating a little bit of a projector to showcase the original Steamboat Willie little light up sign onto the screen itself. It is a really cute set of fun GWP and the really unfortunate thing is that this was only supposed to be available for a little over a week on lego.com, but it sold out within the first few hours of the coming on sale. And it's right now reselling on Bricklink for around 50 to $60, which is pretty high for a gift with purchase whose threshold was only around $100 to get in the first place. Now, I definitely feel that LEGO should have made this more available to folks if they wanted it. A lot of people really want to get this GWP and it's kind of a shame that not many people are able to get it, at least with this current production run. Hopefully, maybe in the future, LEGO may produce more, but so, if you were lucky enough to get it or you're on the fence about buying it on BrickLink, hopefully this review can be helpful for you to be able to see what exactly is the deal about this amazing set. And so, let's jump right into our review of the Disney 100 Years Celebration Gift with Purchase. Okay, so this is set number 40600. It is the Lego Disney gift with purchase, which was available for purchases of Lego Disney theme sets, which included the brand new Lego Ideas Hocus Pocus set, as well as the new Disney Castle beginning on July 1st. Very unfortunately, however, these sets sold out on the very first day it was available. You might still be able to go into your physical LEGO retail store and find this for sale, but for those ordering online, this set was in short supply. And I really hope this does send a message to LEGO in order to really be able to do this better next time. A lot of times when LEGO does GWPs, if they're really, really popular, they do sell out very quickly, but this was a pretty record sellout. I believe it was only available for a few hours before becoming completely out of stock, and that's a shame, because this is a really nice special exclusive set, and I really wish that more folks had a chance to be able to get the set before prices just skyrocket on BrickLink, because, for instance, LEGO just simply did not include enough supply. Now, this is a really interesting set because it includes an exclusive LEGO Mickey Mouse minifigure using a specialized metallic silver torso, which looks really nice, and it's supposed to celebrate memories of Disney's 100 years, which actually acts as a photo stand, which you can see on the front of the box here. It encourages you to print out your own photos, and there's specific pieces created for the LEGO Dots line that they actually use to be able to add photos to. And on the back here, you can see that's what one of those pieces looks like. It has a really nice little display, which we're about to see, but really it's supposed to be a photo stand for three different photos, which I think is a really nice feature for a LEGO set. We haven't really gotten stuff like this other than for LEGO Dots, and it's really cool that LEGO actually made one that was Disney-themed, Again though, still wish they made it more readily available because this is something that I feel like a lot of people could have really appreciated, even as just a standard retail set, make it a retailer exclusive or something, but as a GWP, I definitely feel like LEGO missed the mark in terms of just making it available for more folks because it is a really nice set as we're about to see. So zooming into the set itself for the folks who were able to get it, or if you are on the fence about picking it up secondhand, hopefully this review might be useful to you just to be able to see exactly what this set is all about. The set does include two exclusive printed tiles in addition to the special minifigure. There's one right here of Mickey Mouse who's kind of in his standard, very original vintage sketchbook. And this right here is a feature that actually first appeared in the LEGO Agents mobile command truck back in 2008. They have not used this feature often. But if you press on the light brick here, you'll notice that you can see a frame from Steamboat Willie right there, which is a really nice touch. It is super rare for LEGO to do this feature to actually use the light brick as a projector, but it works really, really well. And what you can see when you remove it is that what they've done is they have printed a little window pane piece. It's a little hard to see on camera, but you can see they've basically just printed that with an outline, there we go, that's a good way of seeing it, of Mickey and Steamboat Willie right there with the standard hat and everything. You can see it kind of reflects the light right there. And the way that works is that once you shine the light through it, you can just place it right on here and it projects onto the screen, which is super, super nice. And that is easily my favorite detail about the entire set. Now, moving on to the rest of the set, there's actually quite a lot of interesting things that you can see in terms of being available for 
this particular build. So you have a nicely brick built 100 years of Disney logo text here, which I think is really nice. I love the way it's done. It's super simple. It's literally just using the ring pieces and this curved macaroni element, but it just comes together really nicely. It has a birthday cake for, of course, celebrating 100 years of Disney. On the back here, you'll notice one of those specialized pink Lego dots photo frame pieces. So this is actually meant to hold kind of like cardstock paper or whatnot. If you want to test it out, there's regular pieces of paper that you can try to make it hold, but I definitely have seen that it does a lot better with actual photographs. So let's take like a piece of paper here, kind of sticks in there. So that kind of works, it holds up, but you really do want to have like a cardstock or an actual photograph to hold here, but it actually connects surprisingly well. And it's a really well-designed piece that I'm sure not a lot of people are super familiar with because if you didn't buy that particular Lego dot sets that had these, you probably wouldn't be aware that these actually exist. And of course, there are three of them, so you can attach photos across the entire back of the set. The center area is meant to be a theater area. Now, the point about this particular area of the build is that Essentially, this is a little bit of a seat with popcorn for Mickey to be able to watch, I guess, his own show there. So you can kind of put this up just right in front, doesn't really attach to anything. You press the light, you can see the Steamboat Willie sign appear on the screen there, which is very, very cool. And you can even rotate the film reels if you wish. Obviously, they're not connected, but they're just attached via the special one by one round plate with a special bar adapter to it. Now, setting this aside, you can see that this is kind of a sketchbook area with the sketch of Mickey himself. There's a nice dual molded pen element, which was first introduced in Lego Friends. They had it in different colors, but this year, I believe is the first time they've dual molded it in gunmetal, gray, and silver, which is super realistic for an actual pen, and it does come with a spare, which is really nice, as well as just a simple lamp using a hot dog element very, very simple, just very charming in terms of the setup, and I personally just like putting the chair there for storage because it feels like it fits perfectly well. In terms of the Mickey Mouse minifigure, we can take a closer look at him right here. This is a really special one because you can see that the torso is made out of metallic silver plastic. There are nice silver sparkles outlined in the tuxedo itself, which is really nice. It feels really special. And you can even see the sparkles continue with the magical pattern onto the back, which is just a really nice minifigure overall. And as someone who's trying to collect every single one of the Lego Disney minifigures, and particularly all the Mickey Mouse minifigures, this is a really nice one to add to my collection. Moving back to the main build though, it's kind of hard to talk about value when it comes to this because again, this was a GWP, there wasn't really any avenue to purchase this, and honestly, I feel like that's kind of the biggest flaw about this set, is that, well, there was no way to actually buy it without actually spending a certain amount of money on a certain amount of LEGO Disney sets. Because there was no way to get it without spending either 100 dollars, 100 euros, or 95 British pounds on Disney sets. To add to the fact, the purchase window for this was only meant to last from July 1st to July 9th, so it is a really small and short window. It's basically just a little over a week that folks could have been able to get this, and in actuality, what happened is that it was a little under a few hours that folks could get this, and they just sold out super, super fast. And I definitely hope that in the future, LEGO will reconsider and actually consider making this available in larger quantities. They've had a lot of issues in the past with GWPs selling out really fast, but I initially thought they fixed a lot of those issues. I mean, if you look at the Bionicle GWP or even the Blacktron gift with purchase, they, those didn't really sell out super, super fast. Sure, there were some like the Houses of the World gift, which did sell out, but those did make a reappearance. Same with the Blacktron GWP and the Bionicle one are making a reappearance for VIP week actually this week. So you can still get those. And I really do hope that LEGO will either choose to produce more of this and actually have it as another GWP maybe a few months from now, they'll kind of make it available again because I really feel like a lot of people wanted this but just weren't able to get it. Or in the future, they will definitely just consider making more quantity or extending promo windows longer for really desirable, nice gift with purchase sets like this with an exclusive minifigure, two exclusive prints and Disney themed. Everyone's gonna love this, and I just wish they made more. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching this, and that about sums up my review of set number 40600, simply titled Disney 100 Years Celebration.
All right, and with that, we have summed up our look at the Disney 100 Celebration GWP. Thank you so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Be sure to let me know what you think about the set down in the comments below. What do you think of LEGO's kind of advertising for the set, about the production run and whatnot? Really curious to hear your thoughts on how GWPs are handled with LEGO. And of course, thanks so much for tuning in to Duck Bricks. Like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. And bye for now.